What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another Digital Altar video. Uh, today we are going to be looking at a beautiful new Strixhaven card, one of the Elder Dragons in fact, which is Tanazir Quandrix, one of my favorite of the Elder Dragon cycle. Uh, Witherbloom's up there, but we'll get there. Uh, I, I love the art of this card. Raymond Swanland did a beautiful job with the original version of this card. Uh, the full art version is beautiful as well, but I really wanted to highlight the, the art that Raymond did, so we're going to try and do that today. Just as a quick heads up and a little bit of a disclaimer, we're going to be doing this in a little bit of a backwards way. We're reverse engineering versus doing it together. Uh, so I will talk through each step. I'll show you guys the final product. And hopefully if you guys enjoy it, you can uh, create some digital altars yourself and share those with us. We'd really love to see that. Uh, please make sure as well, if you have any altars that you would like to see, please share those down below. I would love to take some suggestions, uh, see what we can do with it, and, and hopefully make some beautiful, beautiful pieces of art together. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in. All right, so here we are in Photoshop with this beautiful Tanazir Quandrix artwork again by Raymond Swanland did an absolutely phenomenal job, absolutely beautiful job. Uh, and I really, again, wanted to highlight that. I thought that uh, the artwork as a whole in the Quandrix uh, College is absolutely beautiful. Uh, there's so many nice little design elements that they included, things like that, that I really wanted to highlight. Uh, and this, having that beautiful centered composition where you've kind of got the, the wings uh, coming down on either side here, excuse me, and then uh, sort of a mirrored effect almost with the, uh, the pools of water, this beautiful, these beautiful pieces of water coming up here. Just absolutely wanted to highlight that. And so what we did first is uh, just brought in the artwork. Uh, and again, I wanted to keep at least a little bit of this reflection uh, to really kind of highlight that reflection aspect to the piece of artwork. Uh, we did kind of center up the, the center, which do does mean that uh, a few things here are a little bit off, but Overall, I think it looks very, very good. So the next step was actually just to apply the text to the card. I didn't want to have too much in the way of obstruction, so I knew that I wanted to just do floating text above all of it. Uh, and so what we did there is uh, essentially just brought in all of this stuff, and I, I'll bring in all of these and let you see. Uh, essentially what we did if we turn off the art is try to match to the best of our ability where most of this text would line up. So obviously the title, uh, the, uh, the, the creature type here, uh, the, the power toughness as well. The only two things that we really kind of took some creative liberty on uh, was highlighting the illustrator just slightly bigger uh, than it was initially, and then slightly smaller on the actual rules text. Uh, again, as to not obstruct too much of the card, I've, obviously it still is a good bit, there's a big block of text here, uh, but I just wanted to see if we can make that work. Uh, now, next we obviously had to bring in the mana cost, and again, very similarly, we just tried to match the size. Uh, and then essentially after that, we just applied a nice little drop shadow to each of these elements uh, by just applying the drop shadow to the entire folder, the text folder, the mana cost folder. And that made it really nice and easy uh, to, to apply one drop shadow that kind of hit everything. Uh, now the next step was actually uh, to create a border. I did want a border around this uh, just to solidify it a little bit. Honestly, you could have stopped here. This is a beautiful altar in my opinion as is, uh, but I did really want to apply a small border here, uh, which I did. And essentially all this is is a few rectangles that I just kind of grouped together. You could even unify them or create them as, as their own element. Uh, but that was really the easiest way to do it in my opinion. Uh, and then pulled in the color from the original uh, border color here. Uh, and so we created this nice little border, but I didn't really like it as much. I think it's okay, but I didn't really like it as much as I maybe should. Uh, and so what I did is I found this beautiful uh, element that's uh, basically like a fractal simic design uh, that I found on one of my subscription websites, and I applied that as a mask to the border, which gives it this very interesting look. Now, what I didn't like was the, uh, the separation here is not very clean, and so what we ended up doing is just applying uh, a nice little white line around, uh, and then again a nice little drop shadow there to apply that separation. Uh, I felt like that really helped, to be honest. I felt like that made it a little nicer. It still is a little bit too distracting though, and so what we did is just applied a little bit of a layer mask to it to darken it up slightly. Nothing too crazy, uh, but basically we just took a black solid color layer, 
drop that opacity down, and then again, just applied it to that border. Uh, so that way it kind of darkened it up and again highlighted the artwork quite a bit more. Uh, now the last thing that I did that I really think adds quite a bit uh, is try to keep this text from being quite so distracting. Uh, to me this uh, element, the text element, and the dragon element are still fairly balanced. Uh, and so what I decided to do is apply just a small text background that does white out this text a little bit. And what that does is essentially inherently lessen the contrast which makes the dragon much more the focus of the whole thing. Uh, and essentially, this is the way that we did the design. Now, the only thing I will say on this text background, I did feather the edge here, so it's just a nice, clean, kind of white gradient. Uh, and that's it. That's the whole altar, but I'm very, very happy with it. I hope you guys enjoy it. And again, a huge thank you to, Ron, uh, to Raymond Swanlin uh, for creating such a masterful piece of art. I love this card. I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching. And again, if you do have any altars that you would like to see or any altars that you have created yourself, we've already had a number of people sharing them with us. Please feel free to do so. You can send them directly to our email. It resolves mtg at gmail.com or you can share them in our Discord. We would love to see them. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next Digital Altar video.